is becoming more relevant now than ever. And I've been saying this. I know we have the universities, the universities, but there's a system, it's a model that's a couple centuries old. What does that say? We need, that's what we're doing. We're changing the trajectory. Because in addition to being the greatest equalizer in it for humanity and for the community, uh, given opportunities, this is what the community college does. What other institution can move so rapidly, so quickly than the community college? And this is what we're doing today. We're, we're, we're gonna have some announcements today. We're now gonna mention what this great opportunity that we're doing here, especially with the apprenticeships. And of course, I don't wanna take his thunder away, but I know he's gonna make that incredible announcement of us being SDC, the only, and I thought it was only in Texas, but he clarified, we're about to announce very soon on the nursing apprenticeship program. And it's in the final, yes. Thank you for the And he'll be, he'll be elaborating on that later today. It's not a final, but, but this is what it's all about. Be on the cutting edge and developing programs. And I was talking to the people from the nursing department, from the health department. We are following a similar pattern. This is something way overdue. The model of apprenticeship should have been done a long time ago. Where the students, can you imagine? Many of us that went to college, we never had that opportunity to have a, an internship is one thing, like God has said, but an apprenticeship where you're getting paid to go to school and also be in the workforce and also having having people giving you advice, mentors, and most importantly, getting a credit that you can take with you. Imagine all those, those five elements together. We never had that, we just, we, we, we didn't even dream about that. We went through the old, the old, the old pro program of going through the archaic way of university where you go four or five years, some six years, and then we finish university, and then we start all over again, right? I think people would, yeah, who was right? Because how many of you, finished a bachelor's degree, or even a master's degree like I did, it was like here I finished, and uh, my MBA, but I didn't have any experience. I did not have any paid apprenticeship type of experience. I'd start all over again. And I think many of you had to go through the same exercise all over again. Because when you apply, they would ask you, well, yes, great, you have all these degrees, but you have no experience. How many of you went through that? And well, how do I get experience? Well, hire me, then I'll get experience, right? <laughs> but, right? But so this is what exactly the apprenticeship is doing. And we're so lucky that we're putting this on the forefront. Yes, we're pushing the envelope. Yes, we're going against the grain. And I realize that. And it is very difficult for many other organizations to accept that, especially the university, because it's a different program. It's a different model. But now, with this whole world economy taking place, clearly, the proof is there. What we've seen, we've been talking about for years, I'm always talking about globalization, innovation and competition. And then of course, as you can recall, when I came here just over a little a year ago, we need to be bold and take risk. This is what we're doing. This is the boldness, creating apprenticeships that are really not acceptable in some areas because it's a different model. But then look at now this whole, economy and I'm talking about the economic development. Globalization now is changing. Now it's becoming regionalization, just like the cluster sector. I gotta have Keith right here. He knows about that better than anybody else. How that is part of the whole economic development. And of course, what better location to be than in South Texas? And this is what's taking place now. And what's proof of that again also is look what's happening with the supply chain management. Look at the consequences that started with this whole change with the pandemic, and then we can go, you know, the story and the shortages, shortages of people, shortages of skilled workers, now shortages of supply. And then what that caused is a whole domino effect when we've seen all the shortages of products, automotive, that can go on and on. But that's a whole trend thing that has changed and it pushed the envelope to do what we should have done actually even before the pandemic, is to create these short-term solutions because now the students, as I just mentioned earlier, and all of you know, many, there's thousands of students that are not going to college, they're not going to universities, 
they're not doing anything. Well, many are working because there's so much demand as well, which is a good thing, which is why our unemployment is so low right now, right? But that's a short-term situation where we're gonna have to now upskill and reskill. This is what we're gonna be doing now. And what a good model to do is through apprenticeships. Imagine that. Now, again, I wish that would have been around. But it's a model that we, I mentioned the nursing, they've been doing that for years. They, their first semester, when they're starting with the very person to get in, I don't know how competitive it is, in any of these health programs, they, when they get started, their first semester, they're going to class very rigorous. But then at the same time, immediately, especially the second semester, they're already doing clinicals. That's a hands-on classes. That's similar to what apprenticeships are going to be are, are doing. Of course, apprenticeships, you get paid for it. That's the big difference. The nursing students don't get paid, or oh, much less than the other students. So that, so we're seeing changes now. We're going to have to do that to incentivize, to excite people, to get them to continue the higher education because they cannot just continue going work into the workforce. They need to have these higher skills so we can have higher wages. So clearly this is what we're, we're looking at. This is a great solution, it's a great alternative, and we're very excited about this, because this is gonna create many opportunities for the entire valley. And what, back to the whole global picture, as I mentioned in the, the location, that's taking place in China, the United States, and of course South America, in this case Mexico, we've seen a big move, a big shift from the economy, to the supply chain, the whole, back to the reshoring, onshoring, you know, and of course we've seen this, and we saw it starting way back in the 80s and 90s, here along the border with the Magina, with the twin plant industry, and then a lot of it went away with the Far East. Well, of course, now we see, now it's coming back. Is that correct? We're seeing a lot of that because of, well, many factors that I mentioned, but because of the supply chain management. And of course, now we're going to have to double up on our skilled work. Now don't get me wrong, I know that higher education is still the solution overall, but the, the way we're gonna do it, we're doing like this with this type of filing and stackable credentials, the pathways to continue. We want our students to continue, not only to get the certificates or the associates, which is an incredible, remarkable so, uh, solution, immediate one, to get them in so they can get that confidence, they can get that self-assurance, and they can do higher education. And then they continue. We want them to continue for their bachelor's degree and better yet, even get their, their higher education to graduate school. That, but the, the way we're going about it, that's our strategy now, to do it this way, to get them in immediately. And at the same time, we're solving an issue with the workforce, students who get paid. So what a, what a remarkable win-win combination. So we're excited about these, these opportunities. In a year from now, there might be some other thing, maybe another program. And we're going to have other type of apprenticeships, and they're going to be called something else. But that's what the beauty is about higher education, especially the community college. We are constantly changing, we're evolving, and we're able to shift immediately. And that's what we're going to be doing. Because this is exciting times, but we have to constantly shift and change and be, and be ready to change with all of this. And adopt. I'm sorry, adapt to the new change. That's going to be the key. And uh, again, I'm looking around and I see everybody from the private sector, non-public, oh, I'm sorry, for the non-profit, the public sector, I've seen everybody here that, that it's just great to have this group here today. So we can have a robust conversation today and find the solutions to continue working with these apprenticeships. Again, thank you very much for coming. I know you're going to have a long morning. You're going to have a lot of information exchanged here, but this is what it's all about. So thank you and enjoy. Have a great day. Thank you.